What if Deku joined Team JPDE? Chapter 11 Sexy Bunny Pigs Monday Day 29 Yes Spank me Aizuku Spank my fat ass Teach this slutty bunny whore a lesson Evelyn moaned Evelyn, wake the fuck up Deku said but with Jack voice, as he slapped her ass again. How Evelyn said. Evelyn was then woken up by a huge slap to her ass. She looked back to see that her ass was red and see Jack standing over. Jack. What the hell was that for Evelyn asked. Well, I assume you don't want the others to see you naked with toys around you and your sheet wet Jack said. Oh, um, well. Thanks Jack. Wait Penny isn't up Evelyn asked. Nope. She's still sleeping with the boys. I must say she has become very bold Jack said. I taught her well Evelyn said. Yeah right. No why don't you go have a shower while I hide your mess Jack said. Okay. Thanks Jack Evelyn said. Evelyn got out of bed and headed towards the bathroom. Hey one more thing Jack said. What Evelyn asked. Which one was going to town on you Jack asked. Both. They took it in turns after they fucked Evelyn said. And now I know far too much. Go have your shower Jack said. Okay. And by the way I'm getting back at you for the spankings Evelyn said. You seemed to enjoy it though Jack said. Stupid Jack. I'll get her back Evelyn grumbled as she entered the bathroom. A while later Penny woke up, before Aizuku and David, and got ready for school. The David and Aizuku woke up and got ready for school. Team Jaddy were making their way to class for the day. Appears like we've got an hour act together. We won't be late ever again Deku said. Our attendance situation is not that horrible, Aizuku Penny said. I know. Still feels good to arrive early, instead of arriving a few minutes before the bell Deku said. Deku then noticed we is over by the wall. Unforgivable. Absolutely unforgivable Y said. She was holding some kind of small poster in her hands. She was clenching it so hard that it might be turned in shreds. Hey, Weiss. Is everything alright Deku asked. Penny. Ajuku. Good morning Weiss said. Did something about that small paper upset you Penny asked. Oh, no. Absolutely nothing. It just... Didn't go well with the colors of the wall Weiss said. Would you be more comfortable talking about what troubles you to just Ajuku Penny asked. Maybe a little, sorry Penny, it's just Weiss said. Ruby Penny asked. Ruby Weiss said. I understand. I will meet you both in class, then Penny said. Penny then left Deku and Weiss and went into the classroom. I wish Ruby was more like her, at times Weiss sighed. So. What's wrong Deku asked. It's easier to just show you Weiss said. She brings up the hand holding up the small poster, offering it to Aizuku. The. Truth about Weiss Shini Deku said. It is, of course, all slander Weiss said. It's a pretty elaborate poster, containing a crude caricature of a pretty surly Weiss, with an animalistic lizard tail and sharp fangs coming out of her mouth. Posing on the right of a column of text. Are we supposed to believe that the heiress to the most powerful organization in all of Remnant chose to become a huntress and leave the luxury of her life and home for the greater good Deku said, reading the poster. This slime doesn't know anything about my life. Or my home wife said. It's clear that she's here for something else. To be a foothold, the eyes of her family inside of the school. But what could the Shni want with Beacon? Wasi. The Shni want Beacon itself, to produce its own private army Deku said, continuing to read the poster. What Deku asked. I know, right wife said. The letter continues briefly, detailing how the student body of Beacon should rise and band together to request the expulsion of Weiss, or to force her to confess. A call to arms of sorts. This. 
This is terrible. Who would ever think of something like this? Deku asked. Granted, knowing my father, he'd try even something like this if it looked profitable. But the Atlas army already provides protection for the Shani affairs all over Remnant. And when that doesn't suffice, the occasional hired goon will do the trick Wise said. Also, I doubt Ospin would just sell the school to your father. What is this guy thinking Deku asked. Someone who doesn't know me and judges me just by my family name. Probably a student, most probably a Faunus Wise said. What should we do about this Deku asked. Does that mean I can count on your help Wise asked. Sure. If you tell me why you don't want Ruby to know about this Deku said. We're already dealing with something pretty big but knowing Ruby she'd try and make us tackle this at the same time Wise said. I can see that. But if this person, whoever it is, is spreading flyer, we may not be able to avoid it Deku said. I don't think that's the case. Otherwise, they would be everywhere around the school. Professor Goodwitch and their other teachers aren't that absent-minded Wise said. Oh, that's true. Which is probably also why he's not sending this directly to people's scrolls. They would trace it back Deku said. Yes. He most probably has to stick to approaching places he knows will be crowed, and do it at night Wise said. Sounds like we have a stakeout Deku said. Indeed. Contact me when you've decided on a place, and we will lay in wait together Wise said. I can do it alone Deku said. If you think I'm going to just push my problems on you, you got another thing coming Wise said. I didn't mean it like that. But I understand why you want to do this Deku said. Wise and Deku then entered the classroom. Classes were now over. The scratches Deku had got from Neo hadn't healed yet, and so people were staring at him. So, David. What would you say your favorite color is Evelyn asked. That's a random question. Why do you want to know David asked. No reason Evelyn said. Penny knows my measurements David said. David. That's not how it works Evelyn said. What David said. She's right, partner. That's not how you do these kind of things Jack said. What are you talking about? It's pretty obvious that you're David said. David, in these cases you're supposed to remain ignorant and be totally and completely surprised by the revelation, thus creating a heartfelt moment Penny said. I'm not that dense. Who's that dense? I mean, it's not like there's stuff that happened where I couldn't see or hear it, I was always present and aware whenever the subject and hints came up. I can't in good conscience act like. Oh, fine. Gee, Evelyn. I have never really thought about it. I guess I don't have a favorite color David said. More creative freedom for me, than Evelyn said. Uh oh. You better make sure she's actually designing hunter clothes Deku said. And what does that mean Evelyn asked. I think you know exactly what that mean. This would be the perfect time for you to pull a prank and have him wear a dress or something Deku said. I wasn't actually. But now you've said that Evelyn said. Deku. What have you done David asked. Sorry Deku said. Tuesday. Day 30. Deku had entered the mess hall at night and saw another copy of the poster. He had called Wise to meet him there. There was no one around, so whoever did it has already left. He had also found a seed on the floor which he picked up and put in his belt. Wise then announced her arrival by the sound of her heels against the floor. Here I am. Did you see anyone suspicious Wise asked. Wise the noticed Deku smirking. Um. What are you smirking about Wise asked. Nothing much. Just thinking that you should change your shoes. The only way you will be sneaking around is if the whole school was deaf Deku said. I could say the same for you and your iron souls Wise said. But I don't have them on Deku said. Wise looked down to see that Deku was in fact not wearing his iron souls. 
Let's just get inside Y said. The two walk over to the poster. Here it is. Just like the first one, same words of slander Y said. Weiss then takes it off the wall. She then crushes it in her hand, into a ball. She then drops it and then stops it repeatedly with her right foot. You do realize you need to pick it up again, now Deku said. Yes. But I do need to ease my frustration somehow Weiss said. Better that taking it out on the culprit Deku said. Yeah. Doing that would only make the situation worse Weiss said. What are you going to do when you find this person Deku asked? Honestly. I don't know yet. I hope I can think of something before then Weiss said. Weiss and Deku then left the mess hall. Wednesday. Day 31. Jack had gathered Penny, David and Evelyn in their apartment. Jack why have you gathered us all here Penny asked. And shouldn't Deku be here? Where is he David asked. Ajuku does not know about this meeting Jack said. Why Penny asked. Because this meeting is about Ajuku Evelyn said. Still doesn't explain why he's not here David said. When I went to tell Ozpin about the voice in your head. Before I left, he asked about Ajuku. And he told me that Ajuku could change Remnant's future Evelyn said. What Penny and David said. He also said that calling Ajuku's semblance a semblance is wrong. It's something completely different Evelyn said. Then. What is it David asked. We don't know. And we need to find out Jack said. Should we though? We all have our own secrets. Why can't Ajuku keep his penny asked? I know that. But I don't think our secrets could change Remnant. And I want to make sure that we're not in danger Jack said. You really think that Deku would hurt us Penny asked. No. Honestly, I'm curious. I mean this would explain why Ozpin wanted him so much he made us a team of five Jack said. So what are we gonna do David asked. We're going to vote Evelyn said. Vote on what Penny asked. Considering that Ajuku would probably be not willing to tell us. Hell, Ozpin probably told him to keep it a secret Jack said. So, we are going to hold a vote on whether or not to use my semblance on him to find out what this power is Evelyn said. Should we really though? I mean we haven't known each other for that long. He may tell us when he feels like he could trust us David said. David has a point. Shouldn't we leave it up to Ajuku to tell us his secrets Penny asked. We should but as a leader I want to make sure that we are safe Jack said. Do you not trust him or something David asked. Honestly. Right now. No, I don't Jack said. Here have a look at this Evelyn said. Evelyn pulled out her scroll and showed Deku using black whip. That's. That's not an enhancement power David said. Exactly. And we don't know how much more he could do Evelyn said. So now we vote. I say we use Evelyn's semblance to have a look Jack said. Same Evelyn said. I vote we do not use Evelyn's semblance on Deku David said. It's up to you now Penny, you have the deciding vote Jack said. I I. I abstain from the vote. I don't want to breach Ajuku's privacy, but I'm very interested in his power, even more now Penny said. Okay. We'll do it tonight Jack said. I don't like this David said. None of us do Evelyn said. Deku was walking back to the dormitory at night. He walked past the combat classroom and heard loud noises coming from inside. Deku opened the door to see Young training. She looked absolutely exhausted. Come on Young. You need to get stronger. To beat. Him Young said. Young Deku said. Ha. Huh. Ajuku. You're not supposed to Young said. Young then fell over and hit the ground hard. Young Deku shouted. Deku then rushed down to the arena. He checked up on Young. 
Thankfully she was only exhausted. A while later Young woke up. She found herself on the ground, her head resting in Deku's lap. Hello Young Deku said. Young quickly moved to get up, but her head collided with Deku's head. Young then fell back into Deku's lap from the pain. Thanks Young Deku said. Sorry Young said. The two waited for the pain to subside. So how are you feeling Deku said. I'm fine. Just fine Young said. Young. Don't lie Deku said. But I'm not. I am really fine Young said. Young. You collapsed. That's not being fine. Why are you doing this Deku said. Young sighed. To beat you Young said. To beat me. But why Deku asked. Because you show up one day and then you kicked my ass. That hurt my pride Young said. So you've been doing this to beat me Deku asked. Yeah Young said. You are very stupid Deku said. What Young said. I may have beaten you but that doesn't make me a better fighter than you Deku said. How Young said. You have had way more duels than me. Just because I beat you doesn't mean that I'm a better fighter Deku said. But you haven't lost a duel yet Young said. Then I guess you'll have to change that Deku said. What Young asked. I doubt I'll be able to get you to stop so. Why don't we have another duel against each other Deku said. But you'll just win like last time Young said. Are you sure? You've been doing a lot of training. You might beat me this time Deku said. You're right. I'll kick your ass and take my spot back Young said. Cool. Now call me when you are free for our rematch Deku said. Okay Young said. Now to take you back to your dorm Deku said. Deku then picked up Young and held her bridal style. What are you doing Young asked blushing. Carrying you back to your dorm Deku said. But I can walk back to my apartment Young said. Sorry if I say I don't believe you Deku said. You. You have a point Young said. Deku then began to take Young back to her dorm. On the way Young fell asleep in Deku's arms. So Deku arrived and knocked on Team RWBY's dorm. Blake answered the door. Hey Blake Deku said. Hey. I Deku. Why is Young asleep in your arm Blake asked. She's being overdoing it and so this happened Deku said. Hey. And she says I overdo it. Let's put her to bed Blake said. Blake then led Deku into their room. They strip Young down to her shorts and cloth bra and they tuck her into bed. And then Deku left. I will never let her live this down Blake said. Team Jaddy are getting ready for bed. Deku was in the bathroom, he had just finished washed up. He had just finished washing his teeth. He looked into the mirror and saw something strange. He moved closer to the mirror and saw that his eyes had two darker shades of green circles in his iris. Ha! Huh. When? When did this happen Deku asked. Deku inspected his eyes more closely. This. This looks like Evelyn's eyes. But I'm not color blind. And when did I get these? Well, nothing feels off, so it seems I'm fine so Deku said. Deku decided to ignore his eyes, thinking that his was a part of when he got his aura, and he's just never noticed. Deku then exited the bathroom and went to sleep. Okay operation look back is a go Evelyn said. We shouldn't be doing this Penny said. I know. But what choice do we have Jack said. Evelyn then climbed onto Deku's bed and crawled over him. Okay Ijuku time to see what you are hiding Evelyn said. Evelyn then tried to use her semblance on Ijuku. She got as far as the day they met Deku. Ha. Huh. Not this again Evelyn said. Evelyn got closer. She sat down on Deku's crotch and placed her boobs on his chest. Her head was so close to Deku's they were almost touching. Come on let me see Evelyn said. 
Evelyn then felt something rising. Oh, I do. You are thinking about me Evelyn said, bouncing up and down. Evelyn then focused even harder. Evelyn then found herself in a dark void. She then saw eight figures. They then reached out and grabbed her. Our Evelyn screamed as she fell back and off the bed. Her head on the floor, back against the bed and her legs up by her head. Jack, David and Penny quickly got out of bed. Penny and David were still on their bed and looked down at Evelyn. Evelyn. Are you okay David asked. Yeah. I'm fine Evelyn said. What did you see Penny asked. I don't know Evelyn said. What do you mean Jack asked. I couldn't see past the day we met and then I saw eight black figures grab on Tubi and then I was like this Evelyn said. That's strange Jack said. I'd say. Another person I can't see the past of Evelyn said. So what do we do now David asked. I guess we just leave it up to him Jack said. Seems like it. Now help me up please Evelyn said. On it Penny said. While the others were tending to Evelyn, Deku woke up. As he opened his eyes, he saw up Penny's gun. His face went red, then suddenly Penny moved back. Penny and Evelyn had grabbed each other, and Penny pulled Evelyn up. Unfortunately, Penny pulled a bit too hard and so the flew back. Penny landed on Deku's face while Evelyn landed on Deku's crotch. Evelyn and Penny froze. David and Jack began to snicker at what happened. Penny and Evelyn looked at Deku and saw that he was asleep, but he was only pretending to make things less awkward. I think this is a bit too bold for the both of you Jack said. Penny and Evelyn didn't say anything. They just silently got off Deku and went back to bed. Thursday. Day 32. Deku was walking through the gardens when he saw Velvet taking pictures. No I need inspiration. I want to be different Velvet said. Hey Velvet. What you doing Deku asked. Ah. Ajuku. You scared me Velvet said. Sorry. So, you like photography Deku asked. I don't like it. I love it. It's actually a part of my weapon Velvet said. Ha. Huh. So your weapon is to use the flash on your camera Deku asked. What Velvet said. Your camera was pretty good at blinding me a David for a few seconds Deku said. Oh right. Sorry again about that Velvet said. It's alright. Still it's a good tactic Deku said. I guess it is Velvet said. So what's got you so worked up? I heard you say you need inspiration Deku said. Are that? Well, I've been feeling a bit. A bit bland Velvet said. What do you mean by that Deku asked. Have a look at my hunter outfit and tell me what you think about it Velvet said. It's very simple. Not as eccentric as other people's, but that means nothing will get in the way Deku said. But that's the problem. I look to plain. I want to stand out Velvet shouted. Velvet then calmed down. Sorry, Ajuku. I just feel inadequate with my hunter outfit. I want to dress up like the others Velvet said. Then why don't you Deku asked. Because I can't. Coco, my team leader, won't let me Velvet said. She sounds a Toradian Deku said. Oh no she isn't. This outfit does fit well with my fighting style. It was specifically made for me, but the design and colors are not what I want Velvet said. Have you told Coco about this Deku asked. No. And not because I'm scared it's just that Coco has made us a well-oiled machine, and I don't want to disrupt that Velvet said. Well, if you can't get a new one then why don't you modify the one you have Deku said. Ha Velvet said. You could change the color of your costume to make you stand out more, or you could lose the leggings and show off your legs Deku said. I actually never thought of that. But I'm. I'm Velvet said. Ah Velvet there you are a voice said. 
walking over to them was a girl with sunglasses and a beret. Oh. Hello Coco Velvet said. So who's your new friend Coco asked. This is Ijuku. Remember when told you about the two guys I blinded Velvet said. Ah. Well it's nice to meet you boy toy Coco said. It's nice to meet you. Wait boy toy Deku asked. Yep. That's your nickname for me. Now come on Velvet we have to go Coco said, walking away. Okay. Here's my scroll number. We'll talk about this another time Velvet said. Okay. See you around Velvet Deku said. Velvet the followed after Coco. Friday. Day 33. Deku had found a good place for the culprit to strike. He had called Weiss to tell her to come. Soon Weiss arrived this time not making such a noise. You had a good idea. Did anyone come by yet Weiss asked. No one. We can use the benches and wait until Deku said. Suddenly the lights went out. Until the lights go out Deku said. We will wait a bit more, then Weiss said. I guess so Deku said. The two sat together in the darkness. The two had been sitting there for quite a while with nothing happening. This is so boring Weiss said. A stakeout isn't supposed to be exciting Deku said. Yes, but just staring at nothing and making no sounds causes you to lose focus anyway Weiss said. One of my teachers back home does this kind of thing every night. In fact, when he's not teaching, he sleeps in a sleeping bag Deku said. Really? What a weird teacher we is said. He may be kind of off-putting sometimes, but he's a good teacher, who looks out for us and wants us to get stronger. Wait I just remembered something Deku said. What is it Weiss asked. Deku then pulls the seed out of his belt. Is that a seed Weiss asked. Found it on the floor in the mess hall. Right under where the poster was Deku said. Well, it's a kitchen. It's not usual to find food on the floor Weiss said. After closing time. You know that they clean everything before shutting down for the night, including the floor Deku said. Huh, no I mean, I never really thought about it, to be honest Weiss said. Also, this seed seems a bit too big for cooking. Sems more like a seed you'll eat straight from a bag Deku said. I'm not an expert on seeds, sadly. But I do agree that those seeds look more for eating than cooking Weiss said. What if these belong to the culprit Deku asked. The culprit Weiss asked. Well what else are we supposed to call them Deku asked. The culprit Weiss said. Exactly Deku said. Shush. I Deku, listen Weiss said. Deku then hears footsteps in the halls. We need to hide Weiss whispered. Okay. Not make place to hide in a corridor Deku whispered. The two looked for a hiding space. They're behind the next arch. It will have to do Weiss whispered. The two then quickly move behind the arch. The footsteps get closer and closer. Deku could now tell that they wore heels so they must be a girl. The footsteps get closer and closer until they stop completely. I really hope you weren't thinking about assaulting me, children the person asked. Weiss and Deku immediately recognized their voice. Professor Peach Weiss asked. What are you doing here Deku asked. My usual night patrol. I check the halls one last time before bed each night at this hour, as a deterrent for students looking to spice up their private lives with some voyeurism Glinda said. That's not what we were doing Deku said. Professor, I swear on my honor, there has been no fornicating Weiss said. Regardless. You're still outside your dormitories Glinda said. That's true Weiss said. I take it you can find the road back there by yourself Glinda asked. Yes. Sorry again, Professor Deku said. Weiss and Deku then made their way back to the dormitory. That was so embarrassing Weiss said. Yeah. I can't believe Professor Goodwitch thought that we were doing that Deku said. 
well, two attractive teens sitting together on a bench in the dark only illuminated by the moonlight. And this is a co-ed school. I don't really blame her wife said. Em, um, right. Wait you think I'm attractive Deku asked, a bit flustered. I know what I'm saying. And if being in show business has taught me anything it's that whenever people see two attractive persons together, they always think they are sucking face when no one's watching Wise said. Anyway. Professor Goodwixt gave us a great hint Deku said. Right. To be able to stick that flyer in the hallway the first time, the culprit must have known about Professor Goodwitch's habit Wise said. So they are definitely a student here. Hopefully there aren't that many Beacon students who like to snack on these kind of seeds Deku said. We follow the food, then. Hopefully, by that time we find this person I'll have an idea as to what to do to persuade them Wise said. The two then went into their respective dorm rooms. Saturday. Day 34. Deku got a call from Velvet. Morning, Velvet. How have you been Deku asked. Good, thanks. Now, are you free to finish our conversation from last time Velvet asked? Oh. Sure, I'm free. Where should we meet Deku asked. Meet me in the classroom in 30 minutes Velvet said. 30 minutes later, Deku arrived at the classroom. He saw Velvet already inside, but she was wearing her school uniform. You're pretty punctual, Ajuku Velvet said. And you are early Deku said. I don't like making people wait Velvet said. Fair enough. So why are you in your school uniform Deku asked. That has something to do with what we were talking about Velvet said. Velvet the lead back against a window. I may want to be different. I want people to look at me differently. But I just can't bring myself to do it. I've looked in the mirror multiple times wearing my uniform and I think about losing the leggings and other pieces. But I can't bring myself to do it Velvet said. Sound like you need to build up some confidence Deku said. I know. But there's a problem Velvet said. That being Deku asked. I have no one to practice with. I'm confident with my team, but when it comes to others I freeze Velvet said. I see. You know I used to be the same Deku said. Really Velvet asked. Yeah. Though with help from others I was able to build it up. Though I'm still not as confident as other are, but I'm getting there Deku said. My teammates have helped me a lot too, but when it comes to being sexy. I just can't do it in front of people Velvet said. Deku thought for a moment thinking of an idea to help Velvet. Velvet. Do you have your camera on you Deku asked. Yeah. Why Velvet asked. Well you could take pictures of yourself on how you want to look, and then just look at them to build up your confidence enough so you could do it in public Deku said. Do you think that'll work Velvet asked. It's a start at least. And you won't know until you find out Deku said. Good point Velvet said. Now I think this is a good enough place for it. I'll go outside and make sure no one comes in while you do it Deku said. We could just lock the doors Velvet said. But the teacher can unlock them, and... Don't you want to do this alone, instead of have me in here with you Deku said. Oh, um. But how am I supposed to take a picture? My arms aren't that long Velvet said. Are you sure you are comfortable enough to do that with me Deku asked. No. But that's the point isn't it? I trust you enough to do this Velvet said. Okay. So, we'll start of light and then work up to. You know Deku said. Right. From normal to sexy Velvet said. Don't say sexy. I don't need another sexy bunny in my life right now Deku said. You talking about Evelyn, right Velvet asked. Yeah Deku said. Honestly. I wish I had a body like hers. I wish I was that sexy Velvet said. Well, being so called sexy is relative. Sure, Evelyn may be found sexier than you'll ever be. 
you can still be sexy. Can't believe I'm talking about this Deku said. I guess you're right. Coco doesn't care about that Velvet said. So, um. Do you want to get on the desk and try a sexy pose Deku asked. Um. Yeah Velvet said. Velvet the climbed onto the desk. She put her face and chest onto the desk and stuck her ass up. Is. Is this good Velvet asked. Deku just started at Velvet. His face completely red. Um, Ajuku Velvet said. Ha. Huh. Oh sorry Deku said. It's. It's fine. Seeing you look at me like that does make me happy. Now take the picture Velvet said. But I don't have the camera Deku said. Oh. It's in the box on my right Velvet said. Okay Deku said. Deku climbed onto the desk behind Velvet. He moved close to Velvet to grab the box, he moved so close that his crotch was against Velvet's ass. Velvet blushed heavily. Deku then grabbed the box and tried to pull it off, but it didn't come off. Deku tried to pull it again this moved Velvet's ass forward and backwards hitting into Aizuku crotch. Velvet then started to moan. Is something the matter Deku asked. You. You are making me hit your crotch Velvet said with a huge blush. Deku then realized what he was doing and blushed heavily. Sorry Deku said. Just. Just take off my belt Velvet said. Okay Deku said. Deku then reached down and undid Velvet's belt. Though his crotch went further into Velvet's ass Velvet then let out a loud moan. Deku then quickly took it off. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry Deku said repeatedly. It's. It's okay. This is the point Velvet said. But I'm not supposed to dry hump you Deku said. But you are making me feel sexy Velvet said. Deku blushed even more. The two then spent the morning taking sexy pictures, with Velvet losing and undoing pieces of clothing as they went on. Okay. I think that will be enough Deku said. Can we take one more Velvet asked. Um, sure. Take position Deku said. Um, actually. I need your help with this position Velvet said. What? What is it Deku asked. I I want you to pin me down, my legs by my head like you're doing me Velvet said. WH. What Deku said. Please. I've always liked the idea of being pinned down like that Velvet said. Um, sure Deku said. Velvet laid on her back while Deku climbed over her. All Velvet had on was her shirt and skirt. Her shirt had only one button done up by her chest, but Deku could see her black sexy bra though. Deku then grabbed Velvet's legs causing her to moan a bit. He then pushed Velvet's legs above her head, causing her to moan again. He could now see Velvet's back panties. Come on. Take. Take the picture Velvet said. Deku gulped as he grabbed the camera and took the picture. Suddenly the classroom door opened, and Glinda Goodwitch stepped in. I thought I told you not to spice up your private life in the school, Mr. Midoriya Glinda said. This isn't what it looks like Deku said. It appears to me that it is though Glinda said. You got it all wrong Professor Goodwitch. I asked Deku to do this Velvet said. I never thought you would be the one to ask for sexual activity in a classroom Glinda said. No Deku and Velvet shouted. Deku and Velvet then explained what they were doing to Miss Goodwitch. And though she might have not believed them she found no sign of sexual activity and so let them go with a warning. That was embarrassing Velvet said. I know. And this wasn't the first time she though I was doing something like that Deku said. Really Velvet asked. She thought me, and Weiss were doing it because we were in the corridor late at night Deku said. Velvet laughed. Man. She must think you're some kind of sexual deviant Velvet said. Well, she did let us go. If she really thought that. I bet we would be in detention Deku said. Ture. 
Though I am sorry for what happened Velvet said. But I was my idea to use the classroom Deku said. But I told you to just lock it Velvet said. I guess we are both to blame Deku said. Still. I feel like it's my fault. So let me treat you with a day in Vale. I'll pay for everything Velvet said. You don't need to do that. But if you really want to Deku said. Great. Now come on Velvet said. Velvet then grabbed Deku's hand and took him to the bullhead. As they made their way to the bullhead landing they were spotted by Coco, but they didn't see her. What are you up to my little bun bun Coco asked. End of chapter 11